Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in to This Is Real with yours truly, Juan Martinez, a.k.a. Dr. Love. And I'm Stephanie Ray. Welcome back, everybody. This is real. This is where you get all the real. This is where you get all the real. And I, I, I enjoy the shows that we have. You know, sometimes when we dialogue and we bring pastors and we're all talking yeah. and we're just breaking down scripture, I love that. Yeah, and shout out to everyone who is listening every single week, everyone who's watching mm -hmm. via YouTube or just listening on the radio or subscribe to the podcast. Shout yeah. out to all of that and everyone who, you know, supports us weekly also. Thank you guys. Yeah, man. You know, and, and the letters, like oh, just the letters that come in, you know, that's, that's a real big blessing, you mm -hmm. know, because I feel like a lot of times, sometimes when you do this, right, you just kind of do it over and over yeah. and it starts getting monotonous and you wonder like, man, are people getting blessed? Because that's yeah. the whole point of like the show to is to... Yeah to get somebody like to encounter Jesus, right? Mm -hmm. Or to get somebody to have a better life. And the only way we do that or be big blessed as the show, we could call the show today, Big Blessed, if we really <laughs> want to, but uh, you know, and so this guest is not really a guest, he's already been on. Yes. And um, is doing, since the last time we had him on, we had him on. Mm -hmm. Then we had him on with uh, Brian. Right. Uh, and then- A little uh, intro there. Little intro, little intro <laughs> to this new life. Yeah. And then uh, we had him on with his wife. Yeah. Come on, Kelly. Well, I yeah. think it was fiance at the time. Oh, it was no, he had just got married. Oh, okay, okay. Got he just, it. Hey, look, he, uh, hey, he's like, I remember. I remember, remember that. Y'all like, hey, hey, <laughs> ain't putting me on no setup with this, uh, you know. So, uh, so that's what, that was dope because they got to talk about uh, what their marriage was mm -hmm. and really a little bit of even what they were growing and learning on. If you haven't, uh, you know, if you're like, man, Listen, I missed that show, yeah. then you could actually go to YouTube, check out the show. Super Paul dope. Paul Martinez, Dr. Love. Yep. Uh, this is real. Pretty nice. That. And uh, today, we have him back. Welcome back to... Back by popular demand. <laughs> hey. hey. Thank y'all for having me. You know I love y'all. So hey, man. It's always you a know, blessing. I, first of all, Introduce what's going yourself on? for those yeah, who yeah, don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Lucky Lou, man. Y'all know what time it is, man. Come on, man. Hey, style legend in the building, man. You hey. know what I'm saying? Hey. But hey, I changed my name to Big Bless, man, because I know bless. it ain't luck. God had his hand on me the whole time. I thought I was lucky, but I was blessed. Wow. Oh, nice. That's pretty good. I just saw you going in the water right there. Coming up, yeah. clean. blessed. Coming up, blessed. <laughs> you know, you're like, hey, I went down lucky. Yeah, I came up blessed. <laughs> I came up That's blessed. Nice. That's awesome. And um, so, I don't know. I've been, obviously, you go to the church and all that, but just watching um, is just beautiful. Thank you. You know, and a lot of times, I see just just in the, the smile. You always got that big smile. I don't know if because of the grill or the joy of the <laughs> it's Lord. The joy. It's the joy of the Lord. That yeah. unspeakable joy. <laughs> yeah, and so I, I see you, you know, on Instagram. I see your polls. You are like, now, now let me tell you something. I've seen a lot of guys that kind of, you know, they get saved, you know, they rap, whatever, you know, and I think we had this conversation where like, yo, you could, in the beginning, in the very beginning, it was like, yo, you could do this, you know? Now, yeah. looking from back then, where you were like, I don't know, you know, and then all yeah. of a sudden, looking now, Right, because yeah. you're like, oh, teeter totter, and now you're like, I, I mean, how many, how many uh, since you, since this you is my life? third, this is my third uh, Christian album coming out. Friday. What was the first one? Exodus. Exodus, and what was that about? That was like me, like trying to transition from you know living my worldly life and coming to know Christ. Coming and, out, you know, I was that's fine in my wilderness. That's why I called nice. it Exodus. You nice. Know what I'm what's and your favorite track there? I know you're gonna say all, oh, but what's your favorite track? <laughs> on the Exodus, probably the the biggest song there was the God City song. We in that oh, age okay. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. that played for weeks. Yeah. yeah. Right. And yeah. then the beloved one too with Young Bro. They okay. Still nice. play that yeah, one. I like Young Bro because he always do that. He's got that. He's got that. He twisted a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. And then the second album was the Christian album. That's when I was feeling comfortable in my skin being a Christian you know what I'm saying I, mm. nice. I was more like I was I was more comfortable with it I wasn't so you know I didn't know what was gonna happen next I was ha building my faith basically that's yeah. dope that's you dope know what I'm saying and now this is my harvest season you know what I'm saying Ooh. big blessed wow. <laughs> I like yeah, that that's a great Yo, that's super fire that's dope that track record <laughs> that's why I like look like on the cool that's yeah. why I like always uh Seeing the, you know, the when close proximity, we always talk about that. Yeah. When you get close, you know more, you yeah. know? And so I like uh, talking about these things because, you know, there's a difference between when now they hear it, you know, they're going to be like, yo, okay, this is this is what he was going through. Yeah. This is how he was thinking. This yeah. is why he wrote, it's like a new song in your heart. Yeah. Right? And so then, Big Bless, when's that coming out? Friday. All and, right. And it's more like, you know, I'm feeling good. It's more up-tempo vibes, like happy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm feeling blessed. The Exodus first one I did was more dark. I was kind of like 
struggling mm-hmm. in my pain and you know i wasn't feeling like i'm feeling now basically wow so there's like a difference in the two albums mm-hmm. from exodus is a christian album to the blessed album okay family how, yeah, yeah go ahead how has like um your either fan base or followers kind of seen that have maybe seen that journey journey has have people like followed it and been like man i really like yeah they're I inspired noticed. the real mm-hmm. fans they're inspired the ones that say oh i, I like you better when you're on drugs you, yeah. you no, sound better people were supporting <laughs> still <laughs> yeah <laughs> they like, people they weren't really real you know they they yeah. don't have my they're not looking out for my best interest anyway so you no. know what i mean you were just giving them something to almost stay high right <laughs> i'm just like yeah. entertaining yeah. them they don't yeah. care about That's me true. and my yeah. family you know what i'm yeah, saying sure. they're just looking at me as entertainment yeah. yeah so i don't about really, the real supporters the yeah. real supporters they're like inspired and a lot of people that's why you know i keep doing it, i keep going forward because they come up to me and tell me how much i'm helping them. just like your uh, man over here said i helped him uh nice. yeah. when he saw the video about why i became a christian uh rap how i became a you talking rapper. uh G. 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 D boy yeah, G. G. <laughs> okay that's what's up that's what's yeah, up. Yeah, no, and I want to thank you because you had a lot to do with that, you know, oh, when you thanks, reached out man. to me. And, you know, it's just it's just obvious whenever someone's obedient with their walk that the blessings come. Like you and this podcast. I remember when we first met, you were talking about you want to start a podcast. Oh, yeah, you were like, yeah. hey, how do I do this? What do I got? Now look at you. You got yeah, the whole crazy. setup. Yeah, it's crazy. You know we got G in the background. <laughs> you know what I mean? Marco the media guy. Marco the now, media guy. No, yeah, that's what's up. That's good. That's good stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's, it's, that's it's, God, you know, blesses you when you're really obedient and you're really living out what you're what you're talking about hey when you okay because i mean i know for me i sit sometimes i have this little chair by the window that every now and then i sit at and i uh uh, on the cool i cry yeah you know and it's it's because i get into these moments where i just kind of close my eyes and i could see old me yeah and then when i open my eyes i'm like how the heck that you you just you you cry out of joy yeah it's like i'm just like in shock like i'm not high i'm not does that ever happen to you it's where you have a, a surreal Not a moment? lot, but it's happened probably like two times since I've been saved where I'm I'm in my prayer closet praying and I just don't have nothing to pray about. I'm just thank, thanking him how yeah. he's changed my life. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because it's surreal, yeah. ain't it? A yeah. little bit like when you when you think, did you ever think that Lucky Lou Me would be Never in doing? a million years. <laughs> <laughs> I ever thought that I'd be a Christian yeah. rapper or even a Christian, a born again Christian. I wouldn't, you yeah. know, I would have never thought that. When you have like one on ones where like Castle is still like in the world, because I see a lot of them, they still like, yo, Lucky, you know? Yeah. And you have a conversation with them. Mm-hmm. Are they like, you feel like they're still like, okay, when's this dude gonna like? Some Come back. some are like that, but then others that really, really know me. And for instance, someone like a Chingo Bling or a Baby Bash that have known me from when I was a teenager up to now, wow. they know it's real because they know the old me. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? They're, like, like this, they, they're still yeah. in shock. They yeah. still got that emoji <laughs> face with the mouth open. Yeah, <laughs> but they're rooting me on. They rooting me on though. They're like, you know, keep going. They're happy for me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's but cool. then other rappers that you know might not have known me too long. They're probably like, is he doing this for money or yeah. what, what is he doing? Is he just, you know, they, they don't they don't see it. They don't understand. And then I have other friends or rappers that will reach out to me still and try to not twist my arm, but try to get me to to do a song or just because out of the love that we have for each other, even yeah. though they're not saved. Or, you as know an artist, yeah. just as an artist in general. Yeah. Mm. To, they're to, like, we need Lucky back on. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you don't got to cuss. You don't got to cuss. We'll, you know, make it positive or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're like, <laughs> they always want to put the positive spin on yeah. it. It'll yeah. be a positive. Right? It'll yeah. be a positive <laughs> So, you know, I got to tell them about how, how serious and how real it is. You know, it's not that... Uh, you know, there's people that hit me up and be like, yo, I'm down to talk about God. Let's do a song. And it's like, I'm not talking about God. I'm walking with God. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's a difference. Mm-hmm. I ain't just rapping about God. Yeah. It's your real life. Yeah. Like, it's cool how you yeah. had a real purpose in all the songs. And I believe in Psalms, I think it's 40 and 3, when it says he puts mm-hmm. a new song in your heart. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wholeheartedly feel that. Like, sometimes I'm in the car singing or, you know, I feel like he gives you a song like mm-hmm. it's a genuine thing yeah. especially yeah. for an artist right yeah like it's, like the song that y'all are um playing that gonna play today yeah that song uh i remember before it was probably like the day or two before uh i was praying and i and i prayed to god to put a song on my heart that i can sing for him you know yeah. what i'm saying and give him glory 
And uh, my son sent me that beat. My son made the beat. Elijah. Nah, yeah. Right. Shout out to Elijah. You got the whole, hey, you got the whole family working. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that song just came together. You know, I reached out to you. I said, yo, I want to get Gabe on yeah. this song. I, when I, I I knew it needed a singer uh, on the hook. Do I get fees? <laughs> 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 I, 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 I'm like, wait a minute. Hold I know on. there's a. Was I, I just an agent right now? Hold on. Right now? <laughs> <laughs> get some points off the album. <laughs> hey, no. So uh, I knew it needed a singer, but I didn't know if it needed a female singer or a male singer. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, no, I just. I Gabe, I remember seeing. I always saw Gabe at church worshiping and singing. He's, you know, he's yeah, like, loving the Lord. And stuff. Right. So yeah. every Sunday I see him singing, and I'm like, man, this dude be giving it his all up there. And I and I always thought I, one day I wanted to get him in the studio and do a song with him. And when I got that beat, I knew that was the one. And wow. Yeah. Okay. So lift you up. Why? Why? That's, what's What's that about? Well, like I said, um, that I had prayed for the song to, you know, I wanted a, I wanted a, a song to glorify God, to worship to God. I didn't want to just make a rap song like I'm rapping to a listener. I wanted to make a song where we're worshiping Together. God. Right. That's fire. That's so nice. that and then Gabe wrote the hook. He, you know, I didn't write that hook. Really? Yeah, he wrote that. Okay. De La Fuego. <laughs> yeah. So um, we got we went to the studio and he wrote the hook and I went in there and dropped the verse and, you know, that was it. It was, wow! It was, yeah, it was you pretty, said he's actually pretty good at it. He that. was real good for that being his first time in the studio. Uh, the engineer was impressed. Uh, he hit all the notes. He didn't need no auto tune. Oh, we taught him. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, but that's that practice. Every he does it every, every Sunday week, at church. Sunday. You know what yeah. I mean? So he's practiced, you know, for years. So. That's dope. I, I'm enjoying watching that journey too. You know, because yeah. it's like a son in the house, right? So you watch, watch all of a sudden. He's like, boom! It was yeah. fun. That was hilarious. He's throwing up in the oh, thing, man. helicopter, right? I'm yeah, like, so, wow! Look at him. Like oh he went from goodness. Sunday. Same thing like Grand Stewart. When you see people that you're like, whoa, yeah. where your church? And they're just now somewhere and they're right. doing yeah, something and that everything. that's it's beautiful yeah, it's and he was very excited about it and i think that's what uh so when you've been doing it for so long for years and years you kind of see it like another day at the office you don't mm-hmm. you lose that excitement you know what i'm saying but when there's a new fresh talent there and they're going on an airplane out of town for the first time and doing videos and doing yeah because yeah. you do your videos you do big videos yeah so he's just all smiles all weekend yeah, yeah. and i get a kick out of that seeing the youngsters get that first yeah. It's a taste of excitement. Yeah, that's fine. Saying? And now that we're doing it, you know, for the Lord, do it for the kingdom, it's, you know, it's even better. Yeah, so you have, this album's dropping Friday. Yes. And uh, look out for Lift You Up. And what Lift else? What, what do you think is one that you're going to, let's, 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 let's do some predictions. What so do you I think is one that everybody going to down low? Everybody going to. I know for sure this one's going to go. It's called Blessed Life, and it's got Pastor Johnny. He's a, Do you know Pastor Johnny? Uh, briefly. Yeah, he's got a church in El Paso. Um, yeah. So he's, and he raps. So he's on wow. the song with me on Blessed Life. Uh, okay. And we got the video dropping Thursday. When is this premiere? When is this, this air? This is on Saturday. So yeah. it'll be, so they, the video's they will have out. already dropped. Yeah. Yeah. The video's yeah, yeah. out. You can watch it on uh, YouTube. It's called Blessed Life, Lucky Luciano featuring Pastor Johnny. Mm. Now I'm feeling a little offended. Now I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, really? Like, We're going to have to get you I'm in the studio next. You're going to have to write that whole thing. The next album, Pastor Wano, we'll make sure you get on the next album. Come on. Watch out, Stephanie. I'm excited for you. <laughs> hey, I'm in. I want to go to Florida. Okay, so no, but I got to tell you about the story about Florida. Okay, so this so. weekend we're in Florida. We get, uh, we did the song Lift You Up, and it's, we're shooting the music video now. We had a concert. Where were you at in Florida? Uh, Tampa. 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 Okay. Yes, yeah, Tampa, Florida. And okay. Gabe flew out there, and the whole time he's excited. He's on his uh, story. He's recording for our YouTube channel, the uh, blog we got. Okay. And so he's just, yo, we're going here next. We're doing here, isn't it? We're doing this. We're doing that. And then so I'm like, all right, Gabe, we finna get on a helicopter. And we're gonna shoot the shot. He was like, what? We're getting on a helicopter. I said, yeah, we're gonna get on the helicopter. So we go on the helicopter. We shoot our shots. And he's on his story, you know, taking video. Yeah, and yeah. The next thing you know, he just gets quiet and he stops talking. And I look over and he's just sitting there with a straight look on his face. And you know, like when you're about to throw up, like if you drank too much in the club and you're drunk and you start swallowing, I know we don't drink no more, but yeah. back in BC. Yeah, 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 back in the day, back in the <laughs> when day. When you just start trying to swallow your saliva, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Yeah, yeah, you're holding it in. That's what he was doing. And then I was like, man, can you hold it? And I asked the pilot, uh, yo, do you got a bag? Because I think he's about to get sick. And the pilot was like, man, I don't have a bag. <laughs> so I looked, I'm like, you got to hold it, bro. Don't do it, man. And the next <laughs> thing you know, he just, blah, and the pilot was sitting directly in front of him. So he just splatters oh. all over the Oh, <laughs> no. And then. Not the splatter. Hey, and then there's like no window. You can't roll the window down. Yeah, you're in a helicopter. Yes. Yeah, you can't. And it's a small, confined yeah. space. So it starts to smell in there. 
there. So I'm like looking out the window. Oh, because oh, that could have that could have caused the uh, everybody whole ripple effect. Because that's usually oh, what no, happens. That, that everybody. Guy episode. <laughs> it wasn't. Oh, a, no, that's what happens. It wasn't a little bit of throw up either. It was a lot. We had just ate and then went to Starbucks. So you wow. can imagine. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So we had to do an emergency landing real quick. And then, uh, wow. You can say that's the first time y'all were drunk on the Holy Spirit. <laughs> hey, right? you they were celebrating. That was a different kind of throw up. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, it was hilarious. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be right back, so stay tuned and listen. This is so good. Hey, we're back with This Is Real. We got Lucky Lou in the studio. We got the behind the scenes. We got the behind the, the scenes. The video we got, shoot. yo, <laughs> the behind the scenes. You could ca- you got that all recorded, right? Oh, I got it recorded. It's going on, uh, yeah, it's on. you can watch it on YouTube, Luciano <laughs> TV. Oh, I got man. it on the blog. That's yeah, just we got all that. Go stream the song and then go watch the behind the scenes. Yeah, that's, gonna, that's funny. <laughs> the craziness yeah, it was that hilarious. Ensued. <laughs> hey, um, I wanted to ask you a question, um, because obviously you're, you know, not only three albums in, but each one of those albums represented something, and you know, uh, there's probably we, we're all overcoming, and then we're back into. I feel like we, you know, you either were there, are there, or gonna be there yeah. in life. You know, depending on ages and. It's the same concept, and I think that's the repetitive thing for the rest of our lives, right? Yeah. Depending upon all kinds of stuff, growth, mm-hmm. you know, um, f- everything that could happen right. in life, kind of uh, the testing of your faith always happens. Mm-hmm. So what would you say right now, like if somebody, you know, they watch the first one, they're like, okay, this is where he was at. You watch, because right now, I think there was a time where you were talking about the kids and all that. Yeah, they were like, like stressing crazy. me out. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't know how to handle them without yeah. being uh, drinking some or smoking some, just being sober. Yeah. So does it get better? I guess is my question. Yeah. Yeah. Does it get better? Because so somebody out there might have just started, they might be at that phase. That they might yeah. be in Exodus. <laughs> yeah. they're like, this is sucks. I don't want to be a Christian. Yeah, you yeah. know? You have to better. just trust God because sometimes I remember when I was going through that, I would pray. I wouldn't hear nothing and I'm still feeling stressed out and stuff. But, you know, you got to trust God and just really have that's where your faith is grown. Like, do you believe what you say? Do you believe what you read mm-hmm. in the Bible? Do you do you really believe that? And if you do, then you shouldn't worry. You shouldn't have anxiety or whatever it is, you know, you're battling with if you believe in that that belief and that faith is what'll get you through it. That's dope. What's a little bit, I know you um, had always kind of, you had started it right with like your positive positivity, kind of like self development. Yeah. Like, what would like, you say um, like has been different because obviously good. like your growth is now more into reading yeah, the word. Yeah, that's and why that I really don't um, do, I used to do like motivational videos in the morning and yeah. I would, um, you know, do all that, but it was, um, you know, more about, helping people be better themselves for themselves so they yeah. can be like successful or have more money or whatever, you know what I mean? But now I really don't do it. I'm not trying to motivate them. If I do anything now, I'm gonna share the gospel with them, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. So that's why I don't do that now. But at that time, that was where I was at. So it yeah. did help me and prepare me for my walk with Christ, being into that stuff. And so what, what are some of like the practices that you do differently now? You know, cause I know you, you started like the, you know, the jog, you were kind of challenging people, but now- Yeah, I mean, that's still good. That's still a good thing. Running in the morning, yeah. exercising, of but course. But what are some of like the, the things that you do now that are different now that you've been in this journey for a little bit? Uh, I pray longer. I pray longer now. Um, I read my Bible in the morning. Yeah. Um, what you reading? Just right now, I was reading uh, Daniel. Nice. Uh, yeah, this morning that's nice. what I was reading. What's God saying to you lately? Like, what's you know, what's what's, what's God saying? Yeah, when you you in the morning, you spend time with the Lord. That's when you you the morning guy. Yeah. Boom. Early in the morning, you still out there? Yeah. So it, still? Okay. So God's been telling me to serve my wife more and don't um expect so much from her just because she does it with a smile on her face take care of the kids keep the house in order and Mm. you know make food or whatever and i just expect that from her and because she she does it you know what Mm -hmm. i'm saying but i need to be more of a a servant too you know what i mean serve her that's dope. That's cool. That's literally like a reflection of your time with the Lord. <laughs> like, he's, yeah. no, like for real, you know that we're Go ahead, his break bride. It down, break it down. We're his bride. And so he's teaching how he treats you. And so then right. you're carrying it out with your yeah. household. And yeah, I that's think fire. that's really awesome. That's really what it's. Yeah. That's what we're and supposed that, to be doing. Yeah, and I, so I would tell her, like, how can I serve you today? And she's like, what are you, what are you talking about? What do you want? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, hold on, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah. She's like, lucky? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that and and also just to trust him because I still, you know, I still struggle with things. I still go through things. What do you go through? 
Well, I just, you know, I st it's still hard to um, be able to not, so the type of business that I'm in, you don't always see, it's not like I have a nine to five or a set paycheck on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But my yeah. bills come for show on they, Friday. They, they, <laughs> you know they don't saying? miss a beat. You know what I mean? <laughs> the the thing is never like, Look, I don't know, <laughs> but the, the bill come. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that right there is where I had to, uh, you know, learn to trust God. And he's got always made sure that, you know, my kids don't never go without. They're always yeah. got food on the table. You know, our lights don't get cut off or anything. So he's always made a way. And that's where I have to that's fire. learn to trust. Even if it's not as much as I, my carnal mind wants, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like yeah. I might want more and be like, well, I can go out I there and, and, this, and yeah. hustle it up. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I just have to, you know, wait on God's timing. And, and, you know, sometimes I just got to sit there and be still and wait. Mm. I've heard you talk about um, you've kind of like shown some people that the definition or the difference between blessing, right? Because a lot of times I feel like maybe you heard that a lot from the people that follow you was that blessings was just financial. Yeah. So you're like, oh, man, you know, lucky just in it for the things, blessing. Yeah, 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 yeah that kind of thing. But yeah, I've heard but you kind of share a little bit of like, no, nah, y'all, that's not what we mean when we say blessing. Sometimes yeah. it's finances. Sometimes it's something else. Right, so like right. share yeah. a little bit about so, that. So, yeah. So when I say that we're living a blessed life or I'm big blessed, it's not it's not that uh, I'm going to the mall just balling out. That's mm -hmm. not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about I'm blessed in relationships and yeah. you know I got new friends now that are genuine friends. It's not like mm. you know before my friends are like just want to go out and party because <laughs> you're you know? picking up the tab. Yeah, I'm picking up the tab. <laughs> it's not like that now. Yeah. I have I have genuine friends that you know they give me stuff. I you know the other day I uh, met uh, Brian at the at the hotel. We had a show. I walked into the room. He's like right when he saw me, yo, I got this for you. It's a pair of brand new J's. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, fire. Just, that's like never happened you know what I'm saying yeah. someone just give you something for nothing you know what I mean yeah. don't expect nothing in return yeah. so I'm, I mean blessing in, in relationships and having peace and having you know a peace of mind and you know just just being happy all around happy it's an er internal thing right. and that's what I like uh, you know because especially for you who came out of a lot of external things that even in the world we're like, yo, I'm let, you know? Yeah. Uh, because we think it's the things. Mm -hmm. And I'm always remembering Ephesians 1 because it, it talks about in Christ like 15 times. Mm -hmm. And the verse that's always sticks out to me is Ephesians 1, 3. It says, blesses, blesses the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed us, past tense, who has blessed us with every, every spiritual blessing yeah. in the heavens. Yeah. So like we're blessed when we're in Christ and then stuff happens. Like because, you were saying, I walk in the room, yeah, whatever. It happens, in, it happens in the spiritual realm first and then transcends to, Man, the, to yeah. the physical, facts. you know what I mean? Big so blessed. We're Big blessed facts. first in the spiritual realm and yes. then we start having these material things. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Let's go there since you said spiritual realm. So how, many, how have you been feeling as far as once you made that switch, right? And then obviously we know the enemy. Now now you're on the opposite team. Mm, so yeah. he's going to come and attack you, right? Yeah. And we ain't fighting like whatever. I don't know. I wasn't in the streets. So I can't really be like, <laughs> we ain't fighting like how we was in the streets. But yeah. you know what no, I mean? Now so you have to fight with, you know, I, I have the to word. pray. I have to really, really uh, take my prayer life serious. And that's the, I know that's the only way that I can win is through prayer and trusting God and knowing that the battle has already been won. I've already won. But once I start giving in to, to fear or anxiety or worry or stress or anything like that, that's letting the enemy get in. Or if I think that, oh, I want to go have a drink or it's any little small little thing mm -hmm. that's just giving, you know, the enemy access into my life. Yeah. So, you know, I had to I had to learn that that was something that I had to learn, you know, what yeah. I mean, because I would try I would, you know, slip up and start worrying or slip up and have a glass of wine or something. And then next thing you know, something starts going wrong in my life. And I, I used to think that God was, you know, um, like. Punishing you. Disciplining me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I used mm -hmm. to think it was God was getting mad at He's me for mad, something yeah. that I did. Like <laughs> Big a, mad. A sin that I committed, so God's punishing me. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that's not what it is. It's like mm -hmm. I'm giving the enemy access. access into my life you know yeah. what I'm saying so he can yeah. destroy it you know what I'm saying facts cause he's out to kill steal and destroy yeah. right so he's waiting like a like a roaring lion to pounce you you know yeah. he's just waiting for a long time and I think you know something you said right there I think is really important especially like in our walk especially when we come out of the things we come out of right sometimes we think like a little thing is not really a big thing cause you, right. you had just mentioned like a wine or da 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 right cause for me, a lot of times throughout life, every time I, uh, pre-Jesus, pre-Jesus, 
that I kind of like compromised a little bit. Yeah. Or I was like, well, because I really didn't want anybody to know like that I, I can't drink, like me personally. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I don't know about the rest of the planet. I just know me. Yeah. And it might go good for a good year, like realistically, like, you know, a month, whatever. Or, but ultimately, I, it, it would worsen me. Like right. eventually yeah. I would get pissed off and then I'm drinking and then that day I wind up doing drugs because, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, well, I was drunk. Yeah, to the next. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's cool that you're recognizing like little things even in your own personal life, you yeah. know, which is spending time with God. I think it's a good thing. Yeah. And you mentioned Brian. I know now you've uh, officially, right? You are now signed as a music minister with Kingdom Music. Yeah. Yeah. What's that so, been like? Because well, that's different, right? I, we, know, we all know Brian. We yeah. know that it, you know, it's not a label. It's it's a ministry. It's so a ministry, share how yeah. that yeah. has been for you. Yeah, how's that been? Well, um, I mean, it was a blessing on on both ends because you know I came on to to he wanted me to come on to help the artists with you know they they were doing their music stuff they didn't expect it to just blow up like it did right. and so they didn't really know the music business and you know how to you know, uh, structure contracts or about publishing or mm -hmm. about just just distribution or, you know, different things. They just knew what worked for them. You know, right. they, they go out and do these events, they sell the merch and, you know, that's working for Brian, you know right, what I mean? Right. But there's a lot of other artists that are there, you know, that they're, they're, they were basically leaving money on the table, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. And at the end of the day, I know we're not doing it for the money, but at, we still got to feed our families, you know what right. I'm saying? Yeah. We still right. got to pay our bills and stuff so he wanted me to come on and help with the artist and you know that's just dope. give them the wisdom that i have yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, that's dope they wanted to pay me to come on i tell them i don't want no money you know what i'm saying i just want to help i want to serve you're like hey yeah. about a month from now you're like hey uh, <laughs> uh you know remember that time that one time you could just do it this month yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, I say I just want to help, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then I also have a, uh, a but I do have a deal with the management with uh Ponch and Diego, the Kingdom Music Management. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's separate, you know what I mean? That that was for them and me and them for my album and you know them helping come on coming on to just have a team behind me. They saw that I, what I was doing with the Christian album and the Exodus was just me by myself throwing it out there. Yeah. So now they So they jumped on and they manage you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They get you all the things, they do all that for you. Yeah. They help That's with awesome. the merch, melding stuff out, um, you know, uh, the shows, the bookings, all that. That's dope. And then you've also, I guess, like you said, shared um, increase in relationships, right? Because now right. it's a whole group of people that maybe, I don't know, when you were doing it by yourself, you probably didn't really even know that many artists, right? Yeah. Right, that were doing that, but within the lane that you were looking for. And so then you come along to music and now you meet more people and build relationships and things like that that people yeah are. and it just you know it, it opened a lot of doors a lot of opportunities for me um hooking up with them but it you know i've known them since we first met yeah yeah right. the exit they could have yeah. done this two hours ago but i believe you know it was god's time and god you know god's I appointed a, time yeah. always god <laughs> has an appointed time i think for everything yeah right. And when we wait on that time is when things work out. Mm -hmm. If yeah. we rush it, we mess it up. Yeah, mm -hmm. so like we just did a video, uh, me, Antoine, and Brian. Um, it's called Kingdom on his YouTube channel. And I seen a couple people in the comments. They're like, uh, who's this guy? He's too new to be rapping about God. He don't know nothing about this walk. Yeah. He needs to get discipled <laughs> first. He needs to go sit out. Y'all just let yeah, him yeah. come on and rap with y'all. Because they, they don't, don't know you. They don't know that mm -hmm. I had you know, been yeah. with them for like over a year now. Just, yeah. We just barely started doing the yeah. music. And I'm always checking on you. So yeah. the reality is that, you know, if we need if we needed to check that, we would check yeah. it. Yeah. That, but it's like it's not out there like that. So, yeah. so everybody always see. is looking. Yeah, they're like, well, who's even, you know. Yeah. Hey, he in church, y'all. He in church. <laughs> he, he in the Sabbath. He reading. Mm -hmm. You know, he's doing all the they things. They serve yeah. and everything. Yeah. 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 Um, and I think that uh, ministering on the weekends when I go do that, that helps me with my walk, too, because... You know, if I'm if I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do Monday through Friday, when I go out there on the weekend, you yeah. know, oh, you're gonna get yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I think I think I think <laughs> he's giving around you, like a little rag doll. He's yeah. giving you a gift that's irrevocable as mm -hmm. well. Like it ain't like, um, you know, sometimes I think like, because you have this gift of music and rapping, like you know how to do this, and you're spending time with the Lord, and God's putting songs in your heart according to your personal life, you, so you're almost testifying mm -hmm. yeah. of, the goodness of, of the goodness of God according, through song. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't like you would tell somebody like, oh, you know what, you got to wait to get disciple to be a plumber. Right. I feel like, I feel like you know, like, yeah. oh, you can't plumb yet. You know, like, yeah. uh, no, you, I feel like you're ministering based on right now your testimony and stuff and through song. And I think that's a good thing. I think yeah. that's actually a good thing. Yeah. You know? I think it was cool that you had shared um, 
earlier, I guess before the show, you know, that we get to have kind of like a living example of how to carry this out, how to walk a Christian walk, because yeah. so many times you hear people, whether it's myself or anything like that, that have been in church, right, their whole life or have known of God their whole life and that kind yeah. of thing. But then to actually see the teaching, see the word, go to church, you know, build family, build friendships, and then carry those things out. Like you said, Monday through Friday, the whole seven days out the week, you know what I mean? It's actually go through that. Then everything that everything else that has came into your life now, like we said, the blessings, those are by default, you know? And so I think that's a, it's an encouraging thing for people who are watching and for listening. Yeah. Cause before, um, I got, you know, gave it all to God. And before I started, before me and you linked up, I remember I tell you, I would go to, um, church in the woodlands. Yeah. Yeah. So we would go on Sunday to church, but then all the other days of the week, I'm just, you know, doing what I would do and living my normal life. Yeah, yeah. We would just go to church on Sunday just, you know, just to do something positive, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm Check that box. <laughs> Check that box. Just in case. Just you in know, case. Just in you case. know what I'm saying? But <laughs> I feel like a lot of people do that. So they think just because they go to church on Sunday that, you know, they're okay. You know, they know God. Facts. Mm-hmm. They don't realize when they, they haven't surrendered all to God yet. And that's why, you know, a lot of things aren't going their way you know Facts. what i mean yeah, yeah yeah and i think that's dope i think everything that god is doing in your life right now is super amazing i think if from the very beginning and I, one thing i've seen from you um obviously i know the intricate parts are lucky in the sense where uh, just everything from the beginning right like how the marriage was and the kids and all the yeah. like oh yeah. which normal stuff but you've stayed consistent mm-hmm. and i feel like you you're like finding this rhythm i feel like in your job yeah. you know like in your walk yeah. you kind of find like you know you still go through stuff but you're finding this rhythm you find this rhythm i wish you call me a little bit more but you know, <laughs> uh, ultimately i feel like you're no, finding this I, rhythm but i did see uh, you know i watched you and i seen other other men of god that and i was like man i want that what they got you know yeah. what i mean so yeah i know i know I'm not there yet, but I see that they got something. You know what I'm saying? And I yeah. want what they got. So mm-hmm. that's, that's what dope. I was like. Let me, let me just stay down and dirty and don't give up. And plus, I knew there was a lot of people waiting. Like, any minute now, he going to fall off. Any so, minute, yeah, they're <laughs> waiting. Minute, they're waiting. Any minute now, you're going to see how right? long this lasts. That's crazy. So, yeah. So what, what would you say right now is one of your uh, biggest struggles? Biggest struggles right now. Like, boom, you've been a Christian. I know we're saying all these great things but right now what's one of your biggest struggles you're overcoming, where you're, right now. you're overcoming you're like man you know what this one's been a difficult one but i i can see some light um we'll i would, you, I would well, say, hold on we're gonna we'll let, let you think, think about it, about it, we'll, it for a little bit. We'll, we'll go to a break real quick and you guys stick around for the answer we'll be right back lucky. Ooh, struggles <laughs> we are back with this is real and uh, we got Lucky Lou AKA in the building, Big aka, aka, <laughs> aka, 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 aka. Uh, Big Bless. And uh, we're I like sharing your shirt. a current Thank struggle. You. Yeah, it's dope. For those that are listening, it says "Born Again Christian New York" because <laughs> not everybody's York. watching. This. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, sure. You gotta go. Uh, you gotta go watch it now. Now you gotta go watch it. Um, um, but we had asked the question, "What's your current struggle?" So now you're trying think, to overcome right now. Yeah, I think I can still be very prideful at times. So okay, I, ex- 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 you know, explain. break that down. Yeah, break that down. Break it, break Pride. Like, like, what's it look like? What's it look like when lucky get prideful? What would hey? What would Kelly say? Uh, Ooh, <laughs> come on. She's the one who tells me all the time. Okay. You're, you're being prideful. You're being you're prideful. prideful. Oh, that's yeah. a that's a good, yeah. Sometimes that might rub wrong. <laughs> if you're prideful, you're like I'm you're prideful like, right now. You're like I know I am. Right, yeah, you gonna tell me I'm prideful? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my bad. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, just you, I struggle with that still. Pride, being prideful. <laughs> He's you know? like, I don't know. I don't want to talk about <laughs> it. I'm prideful okay, right now. Okay, give me an example. <laughs> yeah. Give me an example. This is okay. real, lucky. You know, yeah, you know. I I've seen you do it too. So I know I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna throw you under the bus too. Hit me, hit me. You know when people leave a comment under your picture, they yeah. might say something negative under your picture. Yeah, yeah. But you got like 25 people leaving positive comments, uh, oh, fiery sure, emojis, sure, sure, but sure. that one person will say Ooh. something negative, so and you, you just got to go reply to them <laughs> and reply. give them a piece of yeah, your mind. Yeah, you know facts, what I'm saying? Facts. So that, you know, I'm being able just to kindly block them and not have to give them something, <laughs> <laughs> a piece of my Kindly blocked. <laughs> kindly block, kind of yeah. block, the, the block yeah. button. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. good stuff. That's just, you know, one example. That's a, Give but, us another one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, 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 look. Hey, he went. Yeah, he, he said, went, look, hey, I'm struggling he, with he, it right now. <laughs> he goes, he goes, he, let's talk about the comments. No, how you at home? <laughs> like, we want, we want the real. Uh, 
<laughs> Come on. I don't know, man. Well, is I, it difficult? This is just me asking. Is it difficult um, for maybe, <laughs> well, because we talked about fans, right? But they don't really know you. What about the people who know you? Is that, because, I mean, you know, we, we all live like that. We have friends, family. Sometimes those are the ones who are the closest to us that hurt us more. So has there been kind of like the pride to where it's like, eh, man, that ain't really you from family? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. So, so that, too. Uh, I have uh, somebody I was close to, a family or friends, someone close to, and they might have uh, said something about, like you said, that ain't really you or whatever. But they don't know the new me. They yeah. know the old me. Yeah. And instead of me reaching out to them, having a conversation or something, like that i'll just you know not talk to him ever again you know yeah. what i mean <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna block you in real life kindly block you in person you know what i mean hey they walk hey okay, you're blocked. like you're blocked you are blocked you are blocked <laughs> and i feel like the holy spirit has told me to to reach out to him you know what i'm saying reach out to that person call him you know what I'm yeah, saying? yeah and i just it's such an awkward call <laughs> that i don't do it you know what i yeah. mean yeah. And, and so, so that's you, are you gonna Dang, do so it the opposite of block you have to call yeah. and you have to confront it you yeah. have to confront it so this yeah. is a that's a whole Conversations, another step. Yeah. Yeah. So another step to this life. So that's you know, that's a pride prideful issue where I'm just like, you know, Are they, you they don't agree with and then and then or I might be like, Well, they're not they're not a Christian, they're not saved, so they don't they don't see they don't how really I see it. You know yeah, what I yeah. mean? So mm-hmm. but st- even that is still being like, I'm better than you, I'm a saved Christian. That's so that G voice. But I it, I it's know that it's not right. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. know it's pride, but I still don't do nothing about it. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, because so it's it, always difficult because they could always hit you with the yeah, you were wrong. <laughs> You're yeah. like, I'm over here struggling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. B R I. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh my goodness. Okay. Let's do it. Hey, so are you gonna call? <laughs> that's, I mean, that's all I want to know. Are you I saying know. you call him or I'm call saying, the people like, that you like, have to apologize to? Well, I mean, you well, I, it's not like I need him. to apologize well, to no, him. I just like, need to reach you know. out to him and be like, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, what's yeah. up? You want to go have some coffee or something and yeah. catch mm-hmm. up? You know so what I mean? But you're thinking, you're thinking the conversation is going to be awkward because you're going to be like, Your pride big bliss. And they're going to be like, oh, something else. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to want to They'll be like, come on, man. I don't want to hear about all that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, yeah. It's just that we're You're too holy now. Yes. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So you're trying. So, like, the Lord's telling you, hey, you know, you need to go, like, minister to this person. Not even no, minister. Because no, they probably won't want to hear it. The they, they see it like, oh, now that you're saved, like, we can't be friends no more. You know what mm. I mean? That type of stuff. Because you're going to show up and be like, in Thessalonians. Yeah, they're going to be like, <laughs> holier than like, thou. They yeah. think you're going to show up like that. It's weird. Like, when I have friends, when I talk to them on the phone, they'll say a cuss and be like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say you know, what I'm <laughs> yeah, yo, yo. Oh, I'm so glad that oh, happened to that's you. What's up? That's uh, awesome. Welcome. You yeah. made it. <laughs> hey, look. When I went home, I went home, and uh, one of my friends, while I was in New York, you know, they were like, "Yo, my daughter, you know, she's birthday. Da, 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 come through. All the guys are gonna be here." So I thought, "Wow, I get to see a chunk of my friends all at yeah. one time." When I walk in, they're all by the bar, right? It's like the bar, and then like the where they're having the party. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I come in, boom. They're like, yo, right? And they're like, hold, you know, there's always the one comedian. He's like, hold on, hold on. Oh, we're burning. We're burning. <laughs> I'm like, what the heck? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. dude, yeah. how do you mean? I'm no, I'm just a regular guy. I love the Lord. But yeah. like, they're like, I'm burning. They, and then they would be like, ha, ah, you know, because they're drinking. And they're yeah. like, did you bring, you're going to put oil, you holy, know, yeah. holy, holy, water. holy water. And so it's crazy, right? It, it, because even in that thought, it's like, you're just, Jesus is in you. So they're saying that. So it's almost like they recognize that. I think Pastor Todd had talked about it yeah. this past weekend. But the truth is that there is a God. And that that's who they should really be like. Yeah. You know? So they they're mixing it up. Like you just lucky we got, you know? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Uh, but so, that's cool yeah, that's, though. That's probably what it is that, you know, I struggle with. Yeah. So you're gonna try to maybe you could talk to them about the astral or something. Some. Some I got to. I know I got to. I don't, yeah. it was, you the know. next time we'll have some cool stories of these yeah. pride, you know, and these humbling conversations. Hey, can but, we get you but, on the air? Like, You're gonna so, make the call. But when something, <laughs> but when something serious happens, when they for you. instance, they call you. like if they get in trouble with the police, they catch a case, they'll call me like, uh, "Yo, yeah. I need some prayer." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, he is like the, he's happens. like a Christian lawyer. They're like, "I got one. Don't worry about it. You call them." <laughs> It's gonna drop the bed. Yeah. You're gonna get three. You're gonna get so, a year. So yeah, they'll, they'll be like, you know, they'll laugh amongst each other at me in my walk. But then when you know something happens, Time for instance, yeah. my when my friend uh, passed away, Bert, yeah. he yeah. just recently passed away from uh, COVID, and I did the service for him. You know what mm. I mean? I did How was the, that? 
it was good you know i i had my uh scriptures uh, yeah. together and you know i read some scriptures i prayed for the for everybody i prayed for the family his wife and i just told him you know that you know we're all going to be where he's at one day and every one yeah. of us is going to be in there so we need to make sure we know god it ain't everybody believes in god everybody i'm yeah. sure everybody say they believe in god but do you know god do you have mm. a relationship with god you Ooh. know what i'm good. saying yep. that's good stuff so but but when they saw me there at the funeral that's when there was like you know it was different because now they're not just seeing what they're scrolling on Instagram. Now they're seeing it in real life. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They see me with my Bible in my hand and I'm for sure, I'm, I'm really with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So they, you know where the books are at. Yeah, they, so they couldn't do nothing but. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a prop. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. So they couldn't do nothing but respect it and tell, man, we salute you. You know what I'm saying? We love what you're so doing. So they respect that. They, they're, yeah. like, they're keeping it gangster. They're yeah, like, they say we love what you're doing, man. You know, we, we wish we could, you know, be as fearless as hey, you. Hey, let me ask you a question. You know, in the Bible, uh, you're one of the Pharisees, Nicodemus. Mm -hmm. You know he he would go and visit Jesus at night. You know what I'm saying? Like he really wanted to know about Jesus. Yeah. He didn't want nobody Everybody to else know. to know. Yeah. 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 You got any? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got any that that like you're lucky? You know they out there. They Jesus, but they calling you on the side like you're lucky. Tell me a little bit more about this Jesus, you know. But out here, they still like, yo. Yeah, like Ooh. a whole bunch. A whole, you know, hey, a look, whole they bunch. Are, a whole bunch of them. Like, drop bunch. names. No, they, <laughs> no, they just be like, yo. It's a prayer uh, list. It's a prayer list. <laughs> you know, That's I don't want to start calling names no, out. No, but no, 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 we're kidding, we're kidding, we're kidding. No, 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 we really do want to pray for them. That's dope. But yeah, they do. They they just, they because they know me from how I used to be. they like, yo, we want we want what you got. You know hey, there's saying? somebody that's going to be on next week's show that we're going to bring him in here in a minute. And uh, he, you know, it's funny because he, he was talking, you know, he was telling me just about his life. Cool, calm, collected guy. Really good rapper. A really good rapper. You know him for a long time. Yeah. And so every time... You know, I've heard this, not just even the first time when we was doing your podcast in your house, when we first, first, he, he was just sharing how he was listening and, you know, he was just che checking out the vibe. He was just listening to everything. Uh -huh. and, and I always hear of how crazy you were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, y'all see this new creation in Christ. Y'all don't hear, see the I old totally one. You know what I, mean? I totally understand. I totally understand because that's me. That's my life with everybody I know, like church wise. Even all, my all, wife. All my my new friends, the new relationships I have, like they they just see this, so that they don't know the old me. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean. So, but every time yeah, it's a conversation, they're like lucky. They're like, yeah, you know, it was cool. Well, you know, he was. <laughs> it, I don't know if I, I don't know if I hang out with him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So it was like that, huh? Yeah, man, I was crazy. You know, when, you, when you're when you on drugs and you're drunk, you know, you're not in your right mind. You just yeah. do crazy things. So uh, Hey, what would you say, uh, you know, to somebody out there that knew you? Because, you know, I went, I went uh, somebody bought me a gift and they got me some jewelry. And I wound up in that jewelry store. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, the, the dude just walks up to me. He's like, oh. Man, y'all seen you? You know, you passed one through the, you know, Lucky Luciano. Dude starts tripping out. He yeah. starts dropping f bombs, everything. You know, he just lets me have it. Like that dude, you know, he, I grew up with him. He was like, you was like his mm -hmm. idol. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it was like that too. It was a little bit like, whoa, calm down, dude. You yeah. Know? What would you say to that guy who knew you as Lucky, mm -hmm. and he's like, man, all of a sudden, boom, you're this Lucky. Yeah. What would you say to that guy? Because, like, you, you kind of raised them a certain way. Those guys, you, you almost shepherded them in the in the opposite direction. Yeah, right? I'm going to say, y'all follow me back then. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm going to try to keep keep following me this way. Now, trust me. You know what I mean? Like, That's dope. I, I had did a, a song a long time ago. Uh, it was called Global Pimp, and it was about a bunch of po political stuff and all the crazy stuff that's going on now about, you know, um, just all those conspiracy theorist yeah. stuff that's yeah, going yeah. on mm -hmm. now. You know what I mean? So yeah. people hit me up and they be like, yo, why don't you do another song like that? And I'm like, because it ain't about, like, back then, that's what I was on. Now this is what I'm on. Jesus. The Jesus is what's going to help us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, having that relationship with Christ, that's what's going to help this world and help this country. It ain't going to be, you know, us talking about conspiracies and who's doing this and who's doing that. Because at the end of the day, it's good against evil. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what I figured out now. So... Yeah, I would tell him, man, it's good over here. Wow, that's dope. And so you know who the guy is that we're going to bring Yeah, in? my brother, Coast. Coast. What's going Coast. on, Coast? What's jump up? jump Coast in here real quick. Come on in here real quick. This is just show him in the camera. You know, we're going we're gonna to put him right here. Look, real quick, I just hey, want you Coast. to, like, like, just share the mic real quick because, you know, we're going to record him next. 
What's going on, baby? You doing all right? Hey, look, I, real quick, because I know it's one thing for us to all hear, you know, Lucky and the story and him talking and him going to his albums and all that. But you know this cat. Oh, yeah. Before, like, this right here is not what you knew. Mm-mm. I want to know briefly, we got about three minutes before we closed out, about two minutes. Just briefly, has this been a, like a wow? You know, is this like a, what the heck? Did you ever expect this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so... If you've ever watched these like extreme transformation shows on television, yeah, 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 yeah. This is it right here. Like, I can't say enough things about who he was versus who he is now. It's like night and day. It's I, I feel like God has a sense of humor because he took the worst one out the bunch and, uh-uh. and t- turned a 180. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, look what I can do. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? That's hysterical, dude. So it's crazy. Everything's crazy yeah. right now for you. You're like, wow. But I mean. You started kind of like, you just watching him kind of got you a little bit more like, hmm, let me see what this dude's doing. Yeah. So it's kind of working. Yeah. If, if, any, if anything, I credit Lucky as being kind of that, the the door that I needed to open that would allow me to begin my walk. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. what's up. What do you mm-hmm. think about that when you hear that, Lucky? And man, it makes me proud. I realized that that's what God, I thought I was trying to, I, I, got, I was at such a low point in my life that I couldn't do nothing but look up and call out to God. So I thought I was trying to help me and myself and my, mm-hmm. my own personal journey, and I didn't realize God was using me to help other people. Mm-hmm. That's what's the up. people watching. That's what's that's, up. It's your first I, I don't know, right I love here. this stuff. Feels this like, is what's you know? up. We got Coast in the studio. Lucky, <laughs> hey, I always watch. You know, I think I saw it for the first time when we was at your house. The and Timeless. The, the, the Timeless. Yeah. What was that? That was an album y'all had or album, something? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. they look like straight up Miami Vice. You know, it was like, it was fire. Like, you see the old. Yeah, I got to remake it. The other day. <laughs> I showed them, yeah, yeah, maybe this is something in the future. Hey. Instead of time, you know, we could talk eternal. You know, mm-hmm. maybe, good, maybe there's good. a shift <laughs> in some of That'd be dope. That'd be super yeah, dope. I think the whole dope. planet would be like in shock. Yeah. You know, right? Mm-hmm. So this is dope, man. You want to close this out in a prayer or something? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Go ahead, love. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We just want to give you thanks for this day. Thank you for this platform that we have. We're able to share our stories and the goodness of you, Father. We thank you. We thank you for our brother, Coast. We thank you for the 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 moves that you're making in his life, the moves that you've been making in his life, the seeds that have been planted in his life. And we just pray peace mm. and comfort over him. And we want to lift lift him up today. And, yes, Lord. And just allow him to feel the goodness of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Juan Martinez from This Is Real. And I'm Stephanie Rave. And we're so glad you joined us. If you enjoyed the show, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And turn on your notification bell so you get notified every single time we have a new episode. And don't forget, in Houston, Texas, on 100.7 FM, every single Saturday night, we're on the airwaves from 6.30 to 7.30, man, with real people, real problems, real solutions. The show is rocking. Amen. But not only that, not only is the show rocking, we're also reaching 53 cities, 51 state and county jails and prisons. And what we're doing is we're bringing the word to them. We're bringing them some laughter and some good times and some fire. Amen. And so uh, for that, we need some partners. So if you want to partner with us, please click on the link below. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Hashtag this is real or on any other platforms. Pastor Juan Martinez. Hey, that's a wrap. Peace.